My name is Kobe, and I'm going to be reading from the Prey Lang entry on Wikipedia. The Prey Lang Forest, also known as the Prey Long Forest, is a forest in Kampung Tong, Priya Vihia, Kampung Cham, Krati, and Stung Treng provinces in northern Cambodia. The forest covers an estimated 3,600 square kilometres. It is one of Southeast Asia's last remaining lowland evergreen woodlands. It is the largest remaining lowland evergreen forest on the Indo-Chinese Peninsula and approximately 200,000 members of ethnic minorities live in or around the Prey Lang. This is a section on biodiversity. The forest contains seven distinct ecosystems including unique primordial swamp forest and is home to more than 20 endangered plant species as well as 27 endangered animal species. Botanists have said, in all likelihood, there are even more as of yet unknown species populating the forest, which is also an important breeding ground for fish. In addition to its rich biodiversity, Prey Lang plays a critical role in water management. It's a primary watershed, regulating water and sediment flow to the Tonle Sap Basin, and vital for the water and food security of millions. Prey Lang has some of the highest carbon sequestration values in the region, making it a powerhouse in the fight against climate change. This is the section on indigenous, commu indigenous communities. It's World Indigenous Peoples Day today. The forest also plays a central role in the lives of hundreds of thousands of people in Cambodia. Around 200,000 people, mostly members of the indigenous Khoi people, live in districts surrounding Prey Lang, a name which means our forest in the Khoi language. Prey Lang is an intricate part of their culture and spiritual life, and they've depended upon it for generations, collecting resin, building materials, medicine and food from the forest. Another 700,000 people live within 10 kilometres from Prey Lang, also for whom the forest is essential. And finally I'm going to read the deforestation section. Prey Lang is under threat from a variety of sources which have put short-sighted economic interests ahead of a nation's long-term well-being. Agribusiness plantations and mining operations are cutting away at the forest, including sensitive core areas. Illegal logging for timber, including luxury wood, is rampant, depriving communities of the resin trees they depend upon. It's estimated that up to 250,000 resin trees have been lost to chainsaws. Illegal mining for precious metals and iron ore has also been on the increase, displacing artisanal, environmental friendly operations. Toxic chemicals are being dumped into Prey Lang waterways, upsetting the area's de delicate ecological balance and endangering downstream communities. In addition, new roads are cutting into important and sensitive areas of the forest, making it easier for unscrupulous actors to illegally clear forest, transport timber and engage in poaching. I chose to read the Prey Lang entry on Wikipedia because it's World Indigenous Peoples Day and it's one of the areas in the world in which Indigenous people's rights are being undermined by economic interests.